<laughs> so I saw a magic show last week and it was so good. I was totally bamboozled and it got me thinking about how magicians trick your brain and the psychology of deception. So we're back, I have a camera, I have all of you, and I want you to come in to see if you can decipher these illusions. Oh, la, 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 la. Hi, hey, Siegfried. Nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you again. Now this is Siegfried Tiber. My father was born and raised in Austria, that explains the name, but my mother was born and raised in Colombia. That explains the hair. <laughs> but I was born and raised in Ecuador. That explains the accent. <laughs> Siegfried is a sleight of hand magician or illusionist. He performs in front of a small group of people and his main tool is just a deck of cards. And from this one tool, he's become an expert in how people make decisions in everyday life. There was a scientist who actually said that magicians were cognitive artists. Which is a great job title. Uh, that's a beautiful job title. I yeah. love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. And to get to the actual cognitive art. I mean, we're all here for the magic show. Let's do it. <laughs> now, bear with me, everyone, because there are no cuts during these sections. No movie magic, just Siegfried. Vanessa, I'm going to ask you to sign a card from oh. the deck. Uh, so that it's uh, so that we can distinguish the card. Don't pick a, a picture card, a queen, a jack, a king. Okay. And maybe, maybe it would be ideal if it's a red card that has a lot of um, white space on it, so we can see your signature. But does it have to be a red card, or you? No, it no. can be a black card as okay. you wish. Okay. Okay. With that in mind, please uh, take any card, and I can see it. And it doesn't. You're allowed to see. I uh, I am okay. allowed to see. Excuse me. I'm it. signing a brain, you'll see. That is very nice indeed. Thank you. Had some practice. <laughs> you might agree, hold on to that one. For a second, you might agree that right now that card is unique in the whole world. I mm -hmm. could not have another one of those with your signature, right? Correct. Would you agree? I would agree. Please leave it like over that. there. Yes. Roughly in the middle, right? More or less some 20, 30 cards from the top. Yeah. Nowhere near the top, nowhere near the bottom. Yeah. I will try to create the illusion that your card three of clubs melts through the deck until it comes to the top. Sounds good? Mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds awesome. Let's see if it works. Three of clubs. <laughs> People believe, and this is one of those very odd misconceptions. <laughs> I'm just, it's okay, so <laughs> no. it's just extra weird when you're sitting right here and I stared at his hands the entire time, and all that happened was he just went like this, and it was just right at the top. <laughs> I mean, how can it, how can we explain that to to the people? I don't know how to communicate the gravity of the situation anymore. Shall we do something else? I'm ready. I'm <gasps> ready for more. Ha ha. Da -da -da -da. For this, we need two bills. Okay. One, five. Hold on to that one, please, like this, so everybody can see. Mm -hmm. And fold it this way. Okay. And once again that way, and once again this way. Yep. Hold out your right hand. Hold on there for a moment. I just want everybody to mm -hmm. see one mm -hmm. and five. Please close. I have both of them. Yes. Yes. Nothing in my okay, hands. Okay. Okay. Of the leaves. Yes. <laughs> hold a close, 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 and hold on. There. Now, I'm going to take out just one of the two wheels. Okay. Please open, open, open. Like that. Like that? Okay. Yes. Uh, <coughs> okay. Close. And hold on tight mm -hmm. against your chest. I have the one. Okay. Whatever happens, whatever I say, whatever I do, hold on tight. Okay. 
one, two, don't take the rest of it. Vanessa. What? No! <laughs> Open up. Show them the one. Oh gosh. Someone also opened the door just the as right you were moment. doing it. Yeah, the because right I because my attention was diverted and I was like, huh? Uh. <laughs> um so do you do this when you're like, you know, buying a sandwich or something like that and you're just like, oh allow me to give you this ten dollar bill and then all of a sudden they like, they put a one into the cash register. <laughs> To make things more scientific, I printed out a scientific study that was published in the journal Nature, which is a very good journal. Now, this study covers some psychological techniques that lead us to experience an illusion. The main, main, main aspect of close-up magic is the psychological component of it, applied psychology. Uh, the moves or the technique is never enough. Now there's a few psychological principles at play. One identified here is misdirection, the diversion of the spectator's attention away from a secret action. But people think about the idea of misdirection. It's about distracting you. Look over there while I do something over here. But it could not be farther from the truth. It's not about distracting, it's about guiding your attention. And yes, another one of these techniques is guiding attention. So newer objects, like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, are more salient, as are larger movements over smaller ones. Magicians may also guide your attention towards picking a card, and in that process, you'll miss other movements. The idea of guiding people's attention, fundamental principle in magic mm. is that people are going to look where you are going to look. If I show you this, mm -hmm. you're going to look here. If I look at you because you cannot look at yourself, you're going to look at me. Mm -hmm. So that the dance of the glances can help you a lot. The dance of the glance. Ah, <laughs> that is, and as mentioned, that is a very, very important psychological principle in mm -hmm. magic. The thing that fascinated me the most was called forcing. Hold on, put that one, please, like this so everybody can see. Where a magician will try to control your choice, subtly influencing your decision so you feel like you still made that choice. Stop. I mean, wouldn't that come in handy to use on some people? You can fool all of the people some of the time, or you can fool some of the people all of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. Mm -hmm. Then again, these ideas uh, and, and techniques to influence people, they are not foolproof. They would not work every single time. It turns out there's not just one clever trick behind an illusion. Our brains and behavior are complex. So to truly bamboozle us, practitioners like sleight of hand artists have to use all of these psychological principles together. With, of course, some fancy mechanical mastery of the cards themselves. Magic, it seems, is a complex science. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three. Two, one. What? <laughs> Do you think I could have a career in magic? You definitely. <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay, you should seriously think about it. 